Hello there everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me, Desiree, and we're here today to talk about these new loose highlighters from Cover FX. I did buy both of these. Um, they are called Spotlight Loose Powder Highlighters, and each of these uh, little containers comes with three different colors of loose highlighter. One is called Glitz and one is called Glam. My apologies, I don't know which one is Glitz and which one is Glam because they don't specify on the packaging at all, just on the box. And they don't say on Alta's website either which highlights come with which one. So my apologies, I don't know which one is which. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about these. So these are from Cover FX. Each one of these comes with three different highlighters. The first one having, oh wait, can I tell maybe from this? Nope. I don't know. It doesn't say, I'm sorry. No, I can. The lock code, all right. Figured it out from the lock code. So the one I have here is called Glitz. This is the one I think you're toward more lighter skin. It has the shades Rose Gold, Celestial, and Moonlight. These were $27 a piece. They have three different sections for the highlighters and three different little sifters with lids that lock into place, which is awesome. And then the one, right? I just want to make sure I got it right. Nope, this is Glam. The one called Glam is more towards deeper skin. This has candlelight, sunlight, and sunstone, but I, I thought they were just so beautiful. I had to get both. And also, same thing with these. They do have their own separate packaging. The um, shades in here, I will swatch them for you. Let's just go ahead and swatch the one here called Glam. Oh my God, I already forgot. So the shades in here are sunstone. Let's swatch this one. This is a pinky one. The only downside I think with these is that they're in a little sifter, right? And you have the lid here to dump these on top of you're always gonna dump out way more than you need. So I tend to get my brush and kind of just push it in the holes like this and kind of get some on the brush because I feel like when I dump it onto the lid, I'm dumping out more than I need. Then I'm trying to like put it back on without spilling whatever's left on the lid on top of it. And then the next day when I wanna use a different one, I'm dumping that on top of the lid and they're kind of getting mixed up. Not that it makes a big difference. It's still really, really pretty on the face, but just kind of a, a minor pet peeve, I guess. So I'm going to kind of shake it out a little bit to get some on my finger, but this is the shade called sandstone. Let's get a little more so you can really see it. It is a pinky highlighter. Come on, let's get some more out. Okay. I didn't think this through on how to swatch these. I just thought it would work out with me shaking it on top of my finger. There's some right there. Okay. I'm going to try to build the swatches up a little bit, but I mean, obviously it's not going to look like that on your face because you're not getting it from here and then wiping it. Um, I will apply one of these onto my face for you though. That's the, si the shade called Sunstone. This is the one called Sunlight. This one is, whoa, my God, so pretty. That's the one called Sunlight, like a really white light gold. Dang, I wish the camera would pick up these like true to color. I guess there's a little bit better of a view. And then the last one here I haven't used on my face. It's called Candlelight. It is just a little bit deeper for me. Okay. <sighs> Should have prepared for this better. It's just more on the copper side. I have used this on my eyes and it is so pretty. I use this one a lot of the time on my eyes. I'll put it on inner corner, just on top of the lid. They are wonderful as eyeshadows. I mean, look at them. They're so, so, so pretty. And the next one... Let's swatch out. This is one that I am going to um, apply for you. This one is the one I use the most as highlights because they are just, they're pretty. And they're, they're, I think, more made for my skin tone. So this one here is the shade called Moonlight right here. I use this one a lot. Let's get a better swatch going. There it is right there. Oh, so pretty. The next one here I use all the time too. This one here called Celestial. This one is more of like a cool toned one. And I was kind of afraid, I don't know if you can see it. I was kind of afraid that this one might have like that gray undertone to it. I find like a lot of cooler tone highlights have that kind of grayish tone to it, but this one doesn't. I just think it's so pretty. If I haven't said that enough, this thing is so pretty. And then the last one here is called Rose Gold. Let's get some of this out. And one of the reviews I read on here too, someone said, what a stupid thing to have three in one. Only one's going to work for my skin. I had to throw the other two away. Like just so dramatic. And I was like, well, why'd you buy it then before swatching it? Why'd you buy it if you knew three shades were in there? And this is the one here called a rose gold. And as you can see, they all 
when you look at it like this, they kind of all look the same in the little powder thing. But I think obviously once you swatch them, they all look different. They all have their own little nice subtleties. All very, very shiny, very beautiful highlighters. I love having these. I don't regret buying these for a second. I am going to apply, you know what I kind of want to put on? Was that Celestial, that white one? No. Yeah, it is Celestial. Okay. I'm just going to get my Real Techniques setting brush and kind of just pat it in the lid here. And we're just going to put it, oh my gosh, okay, I need a mirror. I was going to try to just put it like that, but I mean, can you see? This is like an over the top highlight. You don't need a lot with these things. A little goes a long way. So when you're starting out with the loose highlights, I feel like um loose highlights, I feel are more bang for your buck. They last way longer. Not that I've ever used up a highlighter or anything, but I feel like you don't need to use as much. Oh my God, that's too much. Did I overdo it? You know what? Is there such a thing? No, it looks fine. Okay, maybe I overdid it. No, I didn't. It looks fine. It's also too late. It's already on. But as you can see, that was the shade Celestial. They are intense on the face. Start with the little, build it up to how you want it to be. If you like a really blinding highlighter, these ones are going to get you there. I think it is just as I just pose back and forth like this. Um, I think these are totally awesome. I don't regret buying these for a second. The darker one, I probably didn't need. I definitely use it more as eyeshadows. But I think even as eyeshadows, they are super lovely and beautiful. And I love the formula. There's no grittiness. As you can see, there's no real glitter. It's just super shiny, beautiful. I'm in love with these. I absolutely adore these. I'm glad I bought them. Don't regret it for a second. I think they're lovely. So let me know if you've tried these out. As far as I know, these are the first loose highlighters that Cover FX has done. I don't think I'm ever going to use them up. But if I ever did, I would love if they would sell these separately, like separate shades, because these are lovely. And I like having that three-in-one thing. So that is it, my friends. Thanks for watching me put on this crazy blinding highlight. And let me know what you think about these highlighters. Or are you interested in picking them up? Have you? Did you only use one and throw the other two away? Um, anyway, thanks for watching this video. I will see you later in another one. Goodbye.